Yo, hey everyone, and welcome to Starbucks Pie. Sorry, I'm lucky. I am your host, Kyle. It's a beautiful co host, and also my fiance. We just got engaged. That's what my side of the family is. But anyway, that's besides the point. Yeah, we we are engaged. It's my fiance, and um, it still doesn't feel real. It still doesn't feel real, guys. And plus, we're also in oh another country. Country, we are in Italy, uh, currently in Trieste, to be specific. Um, but it is we're having a fun time. Actually, we'll, you know, just just to just dip our toes into things. Plus, to things plus, you know, I got my feet out right now. Um, I actually proposed to her in Venice, which was yesterday. June 11th, I believe. June 11th. I don't pick up. One of the time I proposed to, but it's probably in the video and everything. We'll figure that out later. But we're now engaged and we're super duper happy. I still have a million questions because I'm like, I want to know everything, but maybe that's for another video. That's probably for another video. And plus, I told her, how about we wait until the airport? Because the airport, we're literally going to we be a, in no yeah, phone right. zone. We have a long plane ride, so I'm like, it'd be perfect time. Yeah. But I still, I'm still like, still processing everything. I'm like, wait, what? Um, but yeah, we. I think you uploaded a video of it. Yes. I think, um, how about you can, you can scream now and say, I'm engaged. Right now? Scream, yeah. Scream, 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 scream. We're allowed to. They said we can. Come on. Can you do it with me? Yeah. Uh, one. How loud? Two. Uh, one. Yo. Two. Three. We're engaged! Yay! Oh my gosh. I feel nervous. Don't scream or record that. Please don't scream record me screaming like that. But I'm like so nervous. I don't like that. She has a beautiful ring. I remember just No, he picking. he did good. Um I I probably would have picked this ring myself and you got lucky with the size, um, so I'm, we're gonna, I don't even know yet, so I'm gonna ask him everything, and then he's gonna have to repeat it a third time, <laughs> because I want, I want to make a video about this whole story, because I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I think we should, yeah, I actually want to make, like, a documentary of our trip and everything, so, see, but I've been oh, so I mean, lazy yeah, in recording. I'm like in the habit of speaking Italian, but I just want to say, um, Sorry, guys. thank you guys for watching our videos, and thank supporting you. this journey, yes. but... Um, I also want to apologize though for, I know we were hyping up like Italy vlogs and I really wish we would. We have a lot of pictures we could probably insert later on, okay. but this is like not just our vacation, we're so spread abroad. Mm -hmm. So we've been go, 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 like up early and late type, so we're just exhausted. So we didn't never have really time to like film and vlog, like we were hoping to, but we still have a lot of cool experiences we like to share with you and uh -huh. show pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. So hopefully, I know it's not as fun as a vlog, but yeah. still. Maybe we can vlog a little bit at Grotto. That's what I'm thinking, but I feel like it's too late. We have one more week left. Yeah. We, we, like, oh. Uh, at least we got pictures. We have pictures, though. Uh, I might, so what we're going to do is we're going to do today, today's podcast. I'm posting this today, guys. Plus, we're six hours ahead. So for yeah, different time. yeah, for my people in the U.S., you guys are happy. Of course, you guys are watching. Hopefully, so you guys are gonna get this video <laughs> sooner. Um, and also, we'll vlog Grotto tomorrow, and then my birthday. So on Saturdays, my birthday by the way, turning twenty three. Um, we're I'm gonna vlog that whole day because Saturday's gonna be a movie. Saturday's literally gonna be a movie. I'm what telling you, it? if Saturday's not a movie. Like I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably overhyping Saturday, but I just want Saturday to be a good day, and um, nothing can get in my way to be yep. happy on that day. So let's and then go. Sunday the sixteenth is our engagement party with our Stop. engagement party. Yeah. Hopefully, with some of the Italian students we made friends with, and as well as our group we studied abroad with. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's also our eight year anniversary. I don't really know how God, the group engaged. We really have to do research, but. He did it. Everything is perfect and so romantic, mm -hmm. and I can't mm -hmm. wait for him to share the story. But I can't really, wait. Yeah. I really don't. I don't want to make this dry, but I honestly, until we tell those stories about Italy and our engagement, I really don't have anything else to say. No, no, we can. You know what? Since we got engaged, we could just um, be assholes and just be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we got engaged. We need to tell them information." But I still care about you guys. How about I'm just gonna go off the top. Um, I share some advice about um I guess I can share some advice about how to plan 
like to buy a ring for a girl and know how if she's the one. I, I don't think we talked, we clarified the topic. But look, so this topic is going to be um, basically finding the one and knowing that she's, knowing that you're, like, you can be with this person forever, if that makes sense. And even if you've been dating for a year or three years, because some people, they, they it gets, um, I include it, but they get in t- attached really easily to somebody and they want to, like, say they just want to marry somebody because they really love them the first year. In my opinion, I think you should wait because it takes a lot of time to find out if she's the one. Because at first, we never lived with each other. Like, like before, we stayed over each other's nights. We spent the night. We had, like, those long so long weekends where we slept slept with each other but it's just being with the person and just interacting with their perspectives and just like even like with the bathroom like the bathroom situation it took a while to for me just to poop around her or just even like pass gas around her that took some time so and you know everybody has their different perspectives and not just us like we kind of came I mean, yeah different we, standards. yeah different and we kind of came immune to it because I first I wasn't comfortable with it and then she kind of brought it on herself to just fart out of nowhere and I was like you know what this you know what I can deal with this <laughs> it's funny and the, the cooking patterns the sleeping situations the f- um what else having different agreements um what else even even when you pick <laughs> when you pick fast food or just different restaurants you get you want to go to it's that all okay kinda... let me ask you this unless you want to save it for another video mm-hmm. yeah. what made you decide to propose like what, what i think um first we were we were study abroad we're going to um italy the love capital the love capital that as well which i ain't gonna lie that that truly that wasn't the reason why and also just because i was uh, like you know what you brung, you you didn't bring it on me to propose, but I think it's time. I kind of you waited long enough. You, you literally waited so long, and you deserve it. It's not like you don't deserve it. Okay. So that's why did you really keep asking? Do you deserve it that we're testing you? Because really do, I, I was just I was just asking like, do you deserve to be proposed to? You? I don't know. I can't answer that because I don't know. What Have you, you did? Like I want to make sure you meet your standards because I don't want to feel like I pressured you into anything. Have you did your due diligence as a girlfriend? What do you think? I mean... I think you did. I, sorry, I'm, I'm going to cut you off. I think you did. You're loyal. You, you, you respect me. You're not judgy. You're not... Um, you're not... How can I make this as nice as possible? You're not... Oh, you're not a cr- you're not a cranky girlfriend, which I love because other girlfriends are really cranky when they don't get their way, or they just uh, kind of just like if you don't get like you don't get what you want, you just throw a fit, or oh. you <laughs> you you just well, the thing is with me, you just like put that. fire. Okay, you just put fire where it doesn't need. You just put fire in places where it doesn't need to be fire. Oh. If that makes sense. I just like to um see others happy sorry bitch um and basically what i mean by that is i i do feel i guess it's a girl thing can't Mm -hmm. speak for all girls but Mm -hmm. when they don't get their way they tend to have an attitude Mm -hmm. um i definitely been there before but i feel like i just don't have those expectations where i feel like i need to get everything Yes, and I saw like, like I'm kind of low maintenance. I guess that's the word. Yeah, and pl- oh, okay, you can cut. But uh, at uh, the same time, still expect basic boy things. Of course, yeah, and and like, because you gotta be realistic. Like, we're still young. Yes. Yeah. And we're literally college students. Mm-hmm. So, leave it at that. You know, well, we've been dating for a long time. We grew up together and. I joked around with my college roommate. I was like, if he doesn't, get, if he doesn't propose to me in Italy, I'm never talking to him again. Because it's like the most the romantic place. I was like joking, obviously. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. But I really, like, I think I, I'll tell him this. I was on my phone because we were at Dodge's Palace in Venice, Italy. Uh-huh. And my professor. Oh, dinner proposal. The professor, yeah, the stuff proposal, sorry. The professor was like, um, take notes on your phone, blah, 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 blah. And then she called us out to the courtyard for a break. And then, so, 
I was like, oh, maybe she's gonna talk to us or quiz us. So I was, I was looking up my notes, mm. and that's why I had my phone out. I wasn't on it or anything, and then that's when it happened. And I just, I know where to put it, so I felt like the phone kind of ruined the vibe. But at the same yeah. time, it was like, I was in shock. The only other option I had was the drop, and I didn't want to break my phone. Not saying it wasn't worth it, but uh, some you probably should have. I yeah. should have dropped it. I just was, I wasn't on my phone. It looked like it, the video was kind of pissed, but I was like, I was on my phone and I was like. Mm. You should have dropped your phone, I ain't gonna lie to you. What if I passed? But I feel like we've been there for so long, it's kind of. And I was also kind of in shock because I was of social anxiety, so my phone was freaking out. I was like, I don't know what to do or say. I was kind of. Yeah, I thought she was gonna say no, guys, but it's no. Scared. I wouldn't say no. I just took me a lot of prom. I still don't know. Yeah, I still can't process it. I keep calling either. him fiance, and I think <laughs> I'm kind of annoying him, but it's mainly because I'm trying to get it in my system. I'm not saying, I'm not, it's not annoying, but I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta get used to this. Like, cool. Right. But I told him, realistically, we already are married because what's really, well, we gotta change just to the next step. True. I can't wait for it. Five years is, I think when we hit the five year mark, I was like, God damn, we've been there but for a long time. Not only that, but we were so young when we started dating mm -hmm. that people were like, oh wow, it's been too long. But it's like, what did you want us to get married at 18? You know what I'm saying? Like, 18 I think this is a good age for us where we're mature enough. Um, now we just gotta work up saving money, doing a little planning, but I'm, we're not stressed about the wedding plan or anything until we graduate. Because we want two separate celebrations. Because graduating from college is a big accomplishment on its own, and mm -hmm. that's a huge milestone. So then after that, then we can focus on the wedding. And also yeah. give us time to plan out, save up, mm -hmm. and just. But yeah, I'm so ready and I'm so happy and I love him Ooh. for yeah. so much. Fiance. <laughs> Fiance. Fiance. This sounds so booby, but um. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's really all I have to say, and I can't wait for you guys to see some Italy footage and. Hear our engagement story because I'm it's gonna be my first time hearing it too, so it's gonna be sweet, guys. It's gonna be nice and sweet, sweet and sour like the chicken. I gave him food poisoning, they gave me food poisoning. The Chinese, um, um, anyway, back to back to the new back to another topic. Um, we're, we're not in it right now, but I was gonna say I love you guys, and just if you clicked in, like her mom is probably gonna watch this whole mm -hmm. thing. I was gonna say if she's watching. Best mom in law. I, I even called her, I believe, like. Hi, mom. Yeah, probably. Hi, hi mom in law. I, mother in law. I don't know why I call her mom in law. Guys, if I say mom in law, please correct me to mother in law. Mother in law. I remember I put my phone mother in law. I don't, like, yeah. two to three years ago, I believe. Well, I think it was longer than that. I, was, I remember that. Yeah, guys. Yeah, it was so serious. cute. Now it's, now it's real. Now but, it's okay, yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing as well. But thank you guys for everything. And we, I swear, we're going to. Make the best content as possible. Like we're gonna start posting consistently, even though we say every week. But it's hard to post consistent. We've been go go go, but we still no. We're care keep about doing this shit. Yeah, I mean, we'll never forget about you guys. And also, um, just find the right part partner. If you can do it with low high maintenance girls, just make sure you have your patience so and cool. you know what they want in those moments, so they don't like be just and communicate cranky. with each other. And communication is better below maintenance. Uh. <laughs> you gotta kind of need to be you can be patient but make sure their concerns are heard and just like she said communication is a great thing in a relationship so keep that in mind and also while we're on this topic another topic that bounces off this one is um basically caring for your partner's needs because um how can i give you an example basically as a boyfriend as a okay, as a boyfriend, I feel like I my toes. Oh, as a fiance. Oh no, I was talking about them. Okay, if you're a fiance, if you're a fiance, you kind of. I, I kind of you're you're on a a, a, a higher level. You're kind of uh, you're, you're like right here. What time is it? Yeah, you're kind of. So boyfriends like right here, fiance. You're kind of like up here. You have higher expectations. So this is for the boyfriends because they're still learning. They're trying to get to my stuff. And it, guys, it's like, it's not just, yeah, let me get on my knee and propose. It takes time. The girl has that, like, He was shaking. Die hard. Yes, I was I mean, shaking. The, he's a confident guy. So yes. So I was shake, I knew. Uh -huh. they, like, girls have to have, like, diehard feelings for you. And they have to, like, 
know that you're mature for this type of moment. So basically my advice to you guys is to just be confident in a relationship, man. For a girl, just it's the little like you, you, come on, they know me. It's the little things that you do for her. Like, that's your favorite school. Yeah, so like imagine like a like what's the little thing I did for you? Okay, so and back in middle school, um, a little thing that I can express is me- remember when we okay, I remember that it was by the gate, it was kind of by the baseball field and like Higgins, mm-hmm. like basically borderline from Higgins and East. Mm-hmm. Uh and I used to, oh my gosh, we used to, it's so cute. So when we used to leave each other, we used to leave that spot right there. And you say, okay, bye. And I was like, don't, are you going to come back? And I used to say, no, okay, no, I'm not going to come back. And then we used to we like used to go our separate Yes, we used to go our separate ways and be like, oh my gosh, you're coming back. Pick her yeah. up, crack her back every, every single time. time. Every, every single time. We would run back to each other and we couldn't say goodbye. Yes. And then I remember he, I was in eighth grade and mm-hmm. he was going to his freshman year of high school. And we bawled our eyes out. Both oh, you want to tell that story now? Okay. Because we thought we would never see each other again because we're going to different schools. But look at us now. We made it. So you can get through those obstacles. So a little short motivational love story. We have so much story. Like, I was just thinking about We have so much stories. It's the so little things. It doesn't it have was, to be expensive. It was smart that we made a podcast because we have so much stories. I love sharing. Middle school, high school. We have so many stories. Mm-hmm. I'm telling we, grew, we literally grew up together. It's my best friend. The, um, what, what can I surprise? What can I give you? Like, give you guys like a um, I'm surprise. So what's a story? What's a nice story that that would have oh, like a surprise? Nice. What's a four minutes? Maybe this. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, maybe how about the story about? Should I just tell them now? Fuck it. You know what? They've been winning so long. Like, how, what's a good story that I went through? A great, not a story, but a great memory. That we went through together. That's interesting for me. Well, many. What's a great, good, good one? I'm not gonna waste you guys time. Do 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 do. do. I'm joking. Because <laughs> they're waiting like this little instrumental. Um, how about the the okay? Which, uh, what, what kind of story do you want to tell? Um, we have so many. Let's do. Um. Okay. I I got. I don't have one. I want to give them a night, a, like a, a good memory that we both went through together, of course. Good or bad? Good. It could be both. Right. Like a um, long time ago? Oh, I have a story. I have a story. Um, like I just don't know what kind of category to have because we are different. Uh, it could be. How about, um, so guys. Going um, to Kentucky. Oh, I have a good story. Oh my gosh, I have a great story. So, um, so homecoming. Guys, okay. it's going to be crazy. I believe this is my senior year. And her, it was either your, it was my senior year and your, um, your junior year of high school. And I believe the morning of school, you know, when you get ready, it was like six to seven o'clock. I believe that it it was time, like, I think it was like the homecoming season, I believe. And I was like, you know, homecoming. And guys. He he came to my house that morning. I, I. And I, we should post, should we post a picture of it? And I still have it. <gasps> yeah, um, do you have it? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, post it right here, guys. It's a thumbnail. Thumbnail, yeah. Um, I, but look, okay, and, um, start. Can I tell you? Yeah, he came to my house. I got out of bed. Actually, I'm good. Mm, I'm good. And, um, it said it would mean the world to me if you were my homecoming date or something like that. Yeah. We'll see. And it was Juice World theme. Oh, uh, what is Juice World theme? And what is Juice World theme? How the fuck do you I know kept, that? I don't forget things. I kept all the posters and all the cards since we first started dating. Oh. I don't know if it's crazy, but I think it's cute. Oh my gosh, I'm having, like, memories like just popped up in my head. He also like, sang a song he wrote for, not wrote for me, but he wrote as a joke. He sang it to me and asked me to homecoming my freshman year. That's crazy. We guys. shouldn't put a clip of Guys, we have so many, like, you, you, you're you probably thinking, no, they don't have so many memories. You've been there for so long. Uh, blah, blah, blah. They didn't do that much, but we literally have so many. We even have bad, like, Oh my oh, gosh, we even have like bad me. stories. I turned up. Okay, we even have bad stories. Um, uh, it's gonna be two week and ten you, but I'm gonna give you guys. A, a, two week a, and yeah, that, that, that. yeah, but I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. I'm gonna tell you a sneak peek. Um, one day, oh my gosh, remember when we were in your friend Aaron Crump's house? So we were in her friends, her friend friend's house at the time. This was basically before we started dating. I, I think we were right. a thing, and um, we were actually gonna stay the night there. And as a, 
Um, oh yeah, he said we could, but he kept lying just so. Yeah. I didn't know. As as look as a teen, so yeah, not teen, yeah. as um we were, we, we, we were teen, yeah, as a young couple at the time, you know, we were getting. Um, like kissing and stuff, getting down to business, what they Stop. used to call. Let's get down to business. Stop. And then this sofa, we're in that basement, and all I remember is his grandma, go, his income grandma. Oh, what the? F what? Hold on, what's what's, what's going Stop. on down? What's going on down here? Uh, uh they can't stay. They can't stay at night. Go home. And our all I remember is her. Like I remember you. Like we couldn't just go straight home because she was supposed to spend that over her over her friends. Where are you supposed to spend out there? Over at Aaron's house? I think we were just, I think you were supposed to be over. Oh, I think we're snitching on ourselves. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, <laughs> it's, okay, it's okay. We're engaged now. So. <laughs> but anyway, I think, but it's anyway, she be trying. Yeah, it's in the past. But look, I think you were supposed to stay, in, I think you were supposed to stay in our over like six hours at a time. And we all just made up at Aaron's. And we both, we, we got kicked too. out. Yeah, of course. But you, and you went home, and then I had to walk. I think I had to wait. He, and then, his, my mom didn't know about him yet, so yeah. he had to walk home. My mom yeah, I had to walk home, but it wasn't that far. It wasn't that far, but still, it's kind of scary being young and alone. Yeah, it was. But it yeah, was sometimes. I remember all those. We'll share some more stories. God damn, guys, we have so much like memories um, and just fun. We fun have adventures. quite the timeline. But anyway, yeah, this is getting too good, so I guess. Let's bring it back nostalgia. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna. Starbucks pot out? Question mark? <sighs> Starbucks pot out, I guess, but uh, I just wanna let everybody know. Thank you guys Thanks. once again. And yeah, for the news, just showing the ring. Yes, the ring is, is gorgeous. If you we'll guys post see a it. Picture. Yeah, we'll post a picture. Um, What we'll do is we'll post a picture of your ring and then we'll do how I actually know Homecoming. Okay. It's a thumbnail. And then Italy content? Italy content, content is tomorrow. Content. Yeah, unless so, I don't know something crazy happened. I'm like, okay, I'm, don't, don't jinx our truth. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll I'll, I'll record us on a plan on a, um on a bus to Grotto tomorrow. So yeah. Ciao. I mean. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Arrivederci. See you guys. It's a Bye.